Hey there, Homestead. It's Elizabeth from Community, and today we're just going to be going over the basics for getting started in Website Builder. I'm not going to be going over really anything in depth or specific. Those videos are going to come out later, uh, but we are just going to go over the basic walkthrough with some tips and tricks for using Website Builder. When you first get into the builder, on the left you're going to see a panel, and that's going to have several options. Uh, the option at the top is going to be elements, and this is where you go to add any elements that you want to add to your website, including buttons, contact forms, images, maps, text, videos, navigation menu. So it has all the options that you need to add to your site. It'll have the categories on the left. You can choose a category to see all the options under that. Or you can type in the search bar for something specific, and it'll pull up all the options that match what you searched. So it's really easy to find the element that you want to use and then you just click the element and it has you place it on your website. Moving further down you'll see pages. So if you click on pages it's going to show you a list of the pages that you have on your site. So from here you can do a lot of things like you can hide a page from your navigation menu on the mobile or the desktop you can rename, delete pages, that is the home page by clicking this menu. You can also make pages a sub page by dragging them to the right until they indent. But if you want to go a little bit more in depth with what you can do with the pages, click manage pages at the top. There you can also rename, hide, you can password protect your pages. And then here's where you can add page SEO like keywords, descriptions, title, which is very important for how your website shows up in search engines. And you can flip through your pages here as well. And a little further down is sections. Now this is just going to outline the sections you have on the page you're currently on in the builder. So if you see here, I have section A, section B, section C, the footer at the bottom, and the header on top. And as you can see, that's exactly what it has here. So it'll allow you to go to the different sections easier. This will make it easy if you have a really long page so you don't have to scroll all the way down. You can just click on the section over here. You can also reorder them if you want section C to be in the middle. So it's just, you know, it gives you some control over the sections of your page. And then below that is design. And here's where you can change the default background for your entire site. Uh, you can obviously change this individually on each page. Like this one has a selected background color. Um, and this one was using the default. And that's why that one changed. You can also change the color palette that you're currently using for your site. So if you don't like that certain elements show up a certain color by default, you can go in here and change the default colors to ones you like better. You can also go through the fonts that are available. And text style is going to be really important for text formatting, especially for the mobile builder. Uh, but just know that you can go in here and you can set certain text styles to be a certain size and a certain font. That way when you add a text, you can just assign it that text style that you want it to look like. Um, further down there is blog and store. Now these are only ones you have to worry about if you do have or want a blog or a store on your website. So this is where you'd go to manage the blog and then this is where you'd go to manage your posts and create your posts. Same goes with the store. Once you've done the upgrade option which is for the store, you'll be able to create a store. It'll have you add products, categories, you know, shipping options, stuff like that to set up your store. And this is where you'd go to manage all of that. Below that is stats. And stats is once you've published your page and you start getting visitors, this is where you're going to go to track how your visitors are coming, where they're coming from, how many you're getting from mobile, from desktop, and all the information like that. And then once you're done looking at the stats, you can click back to editor. And then the last option is manage. Now manage has several options underneath it. For example, 
save history, which is really, really cool because say you make some changes to your site and you save it and you publish it and then you look at it later and you decide you don't like it. You liked it better the way it was before. You can click on save history and go back to a different time of your website, go back to a different save or publish. Open that up if you like that better and open that version in the editor. And then you'll be able to start from there. You can save and republish that to get that time where you liked your site better back. So really, really cool feature, very helpful. Um, there's also, like you can add a, a favicon. That's a little icon in the tab right here. Um, you can view your mailing list if you've gotten the join my mailing list or your form submissions if you have a, a contact form. And then advanced is where you go to place site HTML. So manage has a bunch of options underneath that. So go ahead and take a look at that when you have a chance.